Hey, so, um, have you heard about the Penn State scandal? <sighs> Man, I don't personally go to Penn State, but I know, like, a bunch of people that do. So it's crazy, um, if you don't know what Penn State is. I don't know, I don't know how you're living in America. And if you're not living in America, <sighs> whatever. Okay, so basically... I don't really want to get all into it because I don't like talking about stuff like this on my channel. But, um, basically, um, they're, um, they're, like, a really big, um, football team, Penn State. And, um, basically, there's, like, this whole sex scandal going on with, like, their football, um, people. Um, it's happened, like, over the last couple years. I don't know. I've been hearing, like, last 20 years. I don't... Ugh, whatever. If you're from Penn State, you can leave a comment if you have anything to say. But, um, basically, there's this whole, like, scandal going around. And, or, like, like, so their football coach is a coach, I guess. Right? <laughs> I should know more about this than I do. Um, but... Um, their football coach, J um, Joe Paterno, they call him Joe Pa, Paterno, right? Well, I really should look all into this. Okay, but anyway, Joe Pa, um, knew about this sex scandal and, like, he didn't go to the police about it, but, like, um, you know, word is that he, like, a student told him that, like, he witnessed the other guy that, like, works with the football, the, the trainer, or whatever, I don't know, um, he, whoever that guy is that's, like, involved in this whole scandal, he, he was, like, like, doing bad things to small children, and, um, so a student witnessed it, and he told Joe Pa, and then Joe Pa told whoever his, like, superior is, but he didn't do anything else, he just you know, told his superior and then assumed that everything was being taken care of when it wasn't, and, um, so the whole thing just got covered up instead of, like, being taken care of, and now the whole thing is coming out to the public, and, um, it's a big deal because it's involving, like, a bunch of football people, like, coach, the coach and everything, and, um, so now, I mean, Joe Pa is, like, if you know anything about Penn State's football team, you know the name Joe Pa, you know, so like, and so now like he's being, he, he announced his retirement, I think, um, I don't know, now I'm hearing that he got fired, he's not going to be able to coach this Saturday's game, um, like he was supposed to, and then he was going to retire that game, so like it's just crazy, and then, um, the Penn State's president is like, um, resigning all this craziness and so like now it's like Penn State's going from like one of the best football teams or one of the most well known I guess I don't know um to I don't like I don't know what that school is going to be like you know like it's, it's crazy so um yeah I'm gonna have like I was talking to people that go there no it's just it's just embarrassing like if this happened at my college I would be like oh my gosh like I don't know if I would want to still go there you know like if a scandal like that came out it's like and like the president of my school is covering that up like that's just ridiculous you know what I mean so like I don't know I think it'd be like really difficult to like I don't know I mean like I guess you shouldn't let like let scandals change your opinion of the whole school because it's not the school's fault but I don't know it's just so I don't know that's my thought like I'd just be like really embarrassed to be a student at that school I mean yeah I don't know what do you think would you be embarrassed and if you're if you go to Penn State you can comment feel free 
to, or you know if you have like relatives that go there or something and you're hearing a lot of inside stories um leave a comment below because it'd be really interesting to hear about <laughs> Bye.